Hello guys and gals, this is Shane Giese with Street Volkswagen here in Amarillo, Texas. I spoke to you last week about leasing and the benefits of leasing overall. So what I'd like to do is over the next several videos, I'm gonna explain the objections that most people encounter when they're looking at leasing a vehicle. The number one objection that I get is most people state, I want to own my car instead of rent the car. Now leasing isn't renting. What leasing is, is residual based financing, which means that I'm still financing a car and I'm only financing a portion of the car, paying less interest over a shorter amount of time. So, if you take a look at wanting to own a car, ask yourself first, when was the last time you paid off a car? If you're somebody who actually takes five or six years and pays off a car, leasing is still a more attractive option for you to get to the, to the ownership status of a vehicle. So let's talk about the example we used last time. On a 2017 Passat R-Line with moderate credit, you're looking at a payment of 483 for 72 months. At the end of 48 months, you still have a balance or you still owe 24 more payments of $11,592. On the same vehicle with the lease, again, it's $375 for 48 months with $108 savings per month, which over 48 months accumulates to $5,184 in savings. Now, let me show you how to own that car for cheaper through the lease than the same car through the purchase. At the end of 48 months, you have a guaranteed residual value of $9,000. $959. If you were to refinance this, including the tax style license, you have 24 payments at 6.9, puts your payment at $483 a month, which would be the same as the 24 payments you have left on the purchase. The only difference is you have $5,184 in your pocket or in the bank that you saved over the first four years. In the end, either way, you still own the car. So if you take a look at it, if your ultimate goal is to own the vehicle, consider leasing the vehicle first, protect yourself, control the market, and come out thousands of dollars ahead and you still own the vehicle. Next time we'll talk about the next objection. This is Shane Giese with Street Volkswagen.